Hello everybody, this is Gang 996 of Group Detune and today we're gonna do some more Autodesk Inventor. As promised, today's tutorial will create some blueprints for a knife which we uh, also have created previously. So let's get started. Uh. Alright, uh, quickly gonna check if the project is okay, yes, that's okay. To create a new blueprint, press new, uh, we're gonna go with metric, and we're gonna scroll down until we find this tab called drawing, create an annotated document. So... What we're gonna take, uh, I'd say an ISO. I'm gonna go with an ISO drawing. And yeah. Waiting for it to load. Um. <coughs> and this is going slow. Alright, so this is our sheet on which we're going to create our sketches. Now, uh, before we start, um, I'm going to check the um, actual size of the sheet. It's an A3 sheet, so we don't want that. At least I don't want that. I want a, I want an A4 sheet, so I'm going to press that. going to click OK. There we go it's been edited. To uh, actually place some of your uh, drawings click base, this is a magnifying glass and uh, I like to um, project my uh, full assembly on the first page so uh, there we go. I'm gonna do all the different views and once you've done that you're gonna right click and press create and there you go everything is uh, on your sheet now um, as you can see it's somewhat small if you compare it to the rest of the sheet so um, I'm going to edit the scale of it um, Hmm. Edit view. A scale of one to one, which means real life scaling. Oh, nope, way too large. <coughs> so we're gonna go back to a um, one on two scale, which means that everything is half the real life scale right now. Just gonna place the parts a bit better. Um, this view over here, we're gonna do the same. Um, edit view. There we go, edit view. A scale of 1 to 2 again. Up to large, 1 on 3 then. much better. Um, one thing I like to do as well is to uh, change the style of this knife. I'm just gonna edit the view and I'm gonna press shade it. I'm gonna press OK and there you go. The color of the knife has changed. So these are just your uh, project files. I mean, a uh, full project. So, um, to make a correct blueprint, we should uh, split them apart as well. Um, so, we're gonna press new sheet, base view again, 
and this time we're gonna take the blade only so not your inventor uh, assembly but only your part file I'm gonna press OK um, for this we need two views only right click create again I'm going to change the scale to a one on two scale it's much easier to um, edit as well if the um, blade is larger so we got our blades and our fuse that we needed the only thing left to do is uh, put some dimensions on it so to do that we're going to go to annotate I'm gonna press the dimension function again and the same as in creating standard parts simply gonna press the two tips you want in this case the tip of the blade and the base of the blade and press OK you can just ignore this window there you go that's your first dimension second one we need is the width of the blade press OK and there we go the reason why I took this side view is to uh, project the thickness of the blade in this case it's a 5 mm blade so top bottom and press OK um, what's next so the length of the handle <coughs> the thickness or the white the whiteness of the handle and we're almost done uh, only thing left to do is um, the dimensions of the holes but before we're gonna do that we're going to take the center mark function I'm gonna mark these holes <coughs> one two and um, this one no actually yeah, I'm gonna go with it anyway. Press escape. The line that I just uh, drew was to uh, indicate that these two parts are symmetric. So every time you uh, encounter a symmetric part, you should do that. It's just a standard rule so um, keep that in mind um, oh I forgot one thing the side view also projects the uh, holes that we drilled so they also need a central line and almost done we also need the <coughs> diameter of the holes which are 70 millimeters and the border so the sharpened edged you can leave the edge out but uh, I prefer to put it on the blueprint so we got our blades the only thing left to do is the handle and it's basically the same project so we're gonna go to the place views tab create a new sheet base view and the knife handle press open okay um, this and this create I'm gonna change the scale again uh, I hope we can take a scale of 1 to 1 this time yes perfectly uh, I'm gonna 
remove these aside. And this one to the center, this one up a bit. Alright, so same as before, we're going to um, put on the center lines and the center marks first this time. And I don't know what went wrong with that. Uh, hmm. Yeah, we're gonna fix that later. <coughs> Center marks. There we go. There we go. One last. Right. So now to fix this, just drag it up. <coughs> to the side a bit over here as well you don't have to do it like that because uh, the central line uh, already indicates the sides of it but I like to keep it uh, clean so there we go that's done um, this one as well And as before, we're going to put the dimensions on it. So the whole... Yeah, this is a problem you uh, might encounter. It would uh, it will say the R and it stands for the radius. Now, um, we really want to change it, so... Um, I'll teach you how to do that in just a minute. Um, the rest of the dimensions. One twenty on thirty, and I think we might have forgotten to um, indicate. Um, the locations of the holes on our blade, so we're going to fix that in just a minute. Distance from that, that is 20. And from here... Ah, bloody hell. And from this line... Oh, why won't we do that? Yes, no. And that works, so I'm gonna go down to here. There's a hundred millimeters. Um, what's next? So, indicating that this is a chamfer. Hmm, we could, we could indicate it, it's a chamfer. Or we could simply indicate the angle, which is a 45 degree angle, and that's information enough actually. Um, one last thing, the radius of this is 5 millimeters. I'm going to press OK, and yes. I I was going to uh, edit this one, so edit and going to delete <coughs> that. I'm gonna take this symbol, which stands for diameter, and I'm gonna type it in manually. So it was a diameter of seven millimeters. Press in seven, press OK, and there we go. It's been edited. So back to the blade. On the side of it, we are, we we've got our sheet. So it was on sheet two, 
and there we go dimensions from here to there was 20 press ok from there to there was 100 and ok so this is basically how you create any um, blueprint and it seems that my software is stuck yes my software is stuck alright sheet 1 so um, what's next yeah we can name our sheets I like to do that as well so um, preview <coughs> Blade handle. Uh, we can also edit this uh, giant text box. As you can see, it automatically um, puts in the date and the sheet number and also your name. <laughs> so, for those of you who didn't know my name, my real name is David. <coughs> So to edit that, you're going to uh, expand one of your sheets, go to ISO, field text, and simply press that little uh, button over here. So the title of the project will be... Um, basic knife author I'm gonna change that to the untergang <laughs> um, and I like to keep it that way press apply close there you go it will change um, the text in the field so um, you can also change the entire text box and it won't uh, edit definition so you can uh, actually see what every uh, text box was supposed to uh, hold so this giant box on the left side should hold our company and this part numbers uh, enormous mess as you can see but if you want you can change it over here and it will uh, edit it in every sheet keep in mind um, <coughs> it will edit it in every sheet so everything we just typed in in this text box on the first page will always also be uh, of effect in all the other pages um, that follow. Um, a very important thing if you want to um, use these blueprints or uh, be able to decently print them is you need to export them to a PDF format. So to do that you just press the uh, inventor button, press export PDF or whatever you want but I, I'm going to choose a PDF and it will be saved in my um, project directory so wherever you placed it that's where the PDF file will be saved um, important thing go to options and select all sheets otherwise as it's already uh, set it will only um, print or create the current sheets as a PDF file. You can change the DPI if you want to. Usually usually I uh, just leave it. Um, you can change the colors, whatever you want you can do over there. And I'm gonna change the name, knife, 
blueprints save and there you go it's created um, damn it. I'm quickly going to show you where I have saved it so this is 32 bit system keep that in mind if you're using a 64 bit system it will be in your 64 folder so in my case it's simply program files and Autodesk, <laughs> skip this right ahead Autodesk Inventor hmm no sorry um, it saves your files in documents and there you go to the folder Inventor I don't know why I have two Autodesk but simply Inventor and there you go this is the main folder for all of your projects now our project was called YouTube how to so there we go folder YouTube how to and there is the .pdf file now I can't open it simply because I don't have a PDF reader as I find out now so um, but yeah it's there you can open it it contains exactly the same obviously um, with decent, very decent quality um, if you zoom it in same as you do in Autodesk Inventor it will show you everything in detail so that's a very good plus point um, if you got a messy uh, blueprint file in which you need to zoom in to really find the right dimensions you can do that and it will uh, show that to you so um, that was it for today's tutorial, hope you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe for more videos like this and have a nice day.